In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate the workflow for using Actor Core characters in an Unreal game project, so you can use Actor Core characters directly in your Unreal Engine games. First, we need to download a character from the Actor Core website. As you can see in the Actor tab, there are thousands of characters to choose from. Each character can also be paired with a wide range of animation clips from the Motion Library. Once you've selected a character, go to the inventory to download it. In the default download mode, you can download a character by itself. However, to export the correct UE5 bind pose for Unreal Engine, we need to switch to combined download mode so the character is paired with a motion clip. After switching to combined download, pick the character. You'll notice there is no motion applied yet. Next, go to the Pick Motion section and assign any animation to the character. Then click Download to open the download settings. In the download settings, leave the texture settings as default. On the right side, set the target application to Unreal UE5 Skeleton and set the reference pose to the UEFN Skeleton. Once everything is set, download the files. After downloading the files, we need to set up an Unreal game project with Auto Setup installed. Open the Epic Games Launcher, switch to the Fab tab, and search for Game Animation Sample to find the game project. Download it, then click Create Project. Specify the project name and the Unreal Engine version, and click Create. Once the project is created, go back to the library and open the game project. Open Edit, then Plugins, and you'll see that Unreal Auto Setup is not installed yet. To install it, go to the project folder and copy the Auto Setup files into the correct locations. Since this project is created with Unreal Engine 5.7, open the 5.7 folder from the Auto Setup package. Copy the folder inside Content to the Project's Content folder. Then copy the entire Plugins folder to the Project Root directory. After that, reopen the project. Now, when you open the Plugins panel again, you'll see that the Auto Setup plugin has been successfully installed. Next, let's import our character. Inside any folder in the Content drawer, right-click and choose Import to Current Folder, then select the FBX file exported from Actor Core. A dialog will appear asking whether you want to use the Auto Setup plugin for this import process. Click OK to continue to the FBX import options. In the FBX Import dialog, expand the Advanced section under Mesh and make sure Use T0 as Reference Pose is unchecked. If the character contains Facial Morph data, enable Import Morph Targets. If you also want to import animation data, go to the Animation section, enable Import Animation, and set Animation Length to Animated Time. Once everything is set, click Import. After the import is complete, you'll see the character and all related files successfully imported into Unreal Engine. There are four main steps to make this character fully functional in a game project. The first step is to make the animations transferable to our actor core character using IK retargeting. The second step is to configure the animation source by setting up the blueprint so motion and rig data can be recognized during gameplay. The third step is to swap out the character so we can place it into the game scene. The final step is to add the character into the game, allowing us to play as a fully functional actor core character. For the first step, we need to make our actor core character compatible with Unreal Skeleton data. Go to the Rig folder and open the IK Retargeter generated by Unreal Auto Setup. In the top right corner, you'll see the source and target skeletons. We want to transfer animation data from the Unreal character to our Actor Core character. First, move the overlapping source and target meshes apart 
so it's easier to observe the retargeting result. In the source option, search for UEFN and set the UEFN mannequin as the source skeleton. Click Assign to complete the assignment. Now we can test the retargeting result. From the asset browser on the left, apply any animation from the game project to the character. You'll see the animation playing correctly on the actor core character. Save the retargeted result and close the panel. With that, we've completed the first step of turning our actor core character into a game ready character in Unreal Engine. Next, we need to set up the motion matching source so it pairs correctly with the IK retargeting result we created earlier. First, copy the IK retargeter file name, since we'll need it again shortly. Then go to Blueprints, Retargeted Characters, and open the generic retarget blueprint. Under the IK Retargeter Map section, create a new entry. Paste the file name you copied and select the corresponding IK Retargeter asset. Compile and save the blueprint. At this point, our rig and animations will play correctly inside Unreal Engine. The next step is to swap an Unreal character with our Actor Core character. Duplicate any character blueprint in the same folder and rename it using the file name we copied earlier. Open the duplicated blueprint and select the skeletal mesh component. Switch to the Viewport tab, and under Mesh, replace the mesh with our Actor Core character. Compile and save the blueprint, then reopen it to see the updated result. You should now see that the mesh has been successfully replaced. There is one more important step here. In the Details panel, Search for tag and paste the same file name into the tag field. This allows Unreal to locate the character correctly whenever it is referenced. Compile and save again, and then move on to the final step. Now go to the Widgets folder and open the Game Animation widget. We need to add our character to the Visual Override section so it can be selected in-game. In Unreal Engine 5.7, this process is slightly more complex because we can't simply click the icon and replace it directly. Switch to the Graph view. Select the Visual Override List node. And in the Details panel, add a new element to the list. Choose our character Blueprint, just like before. Compile and save, then close the window. Next, go to World Settings and locate the Game Mode Override asset. Open the GM Sandbox Blueprint. Inside the Blueprint, Double-click the Cycle Visual Override function to open it. Inside the Visual Override node, add another override element. Again, selecting our character blueprint so it can be found when swapping meshes. Compile and save. Finally, enter Play Mode. Now we can swap the character to our Actor Core character and play as a fully functional character in the scene. With just a few simple steps, you can make Actor Core characters fully playable in Unreal Engine, making your creative workflow more efficient and powerful. Hope you found this tutorial useful. See you in the next one.